to see it there. What I'm going to do is, hey, YouTube. Okay, so you know we do this Q&A with Kwanzaa, questions and answers with Kwanzaa Jones. But we always have to start with YouTube first because it takes a little time for YouTube to get started. So you all still get the preview. So you get the behind the scenes setup, which is what's happening now. Um, BRB, you'll just see me doing what I do, which is move around and set. But I'm going to mute it for just a minute. I know because I muted it. Can you hear me now? I've been testing mute and not mute. Because remember, YouTube, we're just hanging out for the next six minutes until we officially start, just in case, because sometimes there's been a delay in the start of all of this. So that's what you have.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I miss hanging out and having drinks with you too. Hello, Skip. You know what? And we're on live, but I'm actually still not going live for a couple minutes. So don't leave. It is so good to see you here on chat. Long time no see for sure. Oh my goodness. And I know Fort Lauderdale, who Florida in general, every place we are going through it. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to mute really quickly while I finish setting up. All right, so it is just about 11.30, which means it's time to go live. Although I'm looking at all of this and it seems so blown out in the backdrop, but it actually is pretty nice. When I move out the way, especially for YouTube, you see a beautiful blue sky, which is wonderful. But let me head on over here and go from here. So Let's get on over here. I'm trying Instagram to get all set up and YouTube to get set up and um, Facebook to get set up and all that other stuff. So here we go. All right, so I'm doing this live, which I always do. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube and hello, Instagram. Let me get this going. But it's telling me I'm checking the connection. So we're going to get it. And I, I think Facebook is looking a little bit turned to the side. YouTube, how are you? Happy Friday, everybody. Wow, what a week. Mm. <laughs> what a week. What a past couple of weeks. What, you know, we're here and we're happy to be here. And I'm happy to be here with you. Hey, Amir, how's it going? I'm saying hello, hello, hello. And hello, Chris and Rodrigo and everyone who is there. So we are testing now this time because we would do Instagram live and YouTube live, but I figured, you know, may as well test out Facebook live too, because I have not been able to talk to a lot of different people. And this is one of the ways that we're going to go do it. So what you should know is that every, I would say Friday, but it's not Friday. It happens to be Friday. Do you see the dog on the beach? And you all know who have been joining me for the past month as we've been doing that. Why are there dogs on the beach? They're not supposed to be dogs on the beach. In fact, they closed the beach. People, I wanna be out on the beach. I see, that's the alarm. That's the alarm system for saying, dogs, you're supposed to get off the beach. Um, one moment, we are having all of this because I just had, it actually was, we've gotta get this thing back up and going. I had Instagram on and now I don't know where it is. So anyway, all these various other things. So here we go. Where am I? Actually, I was on Facebook and now I don't know what happened to Facebook. You were here, you weren't here. Give me just a minute. Let's just keep this case on or something because all this alarm stuff, now I need to Everybody, one moment, please. I'm having some technical difficulties and I'm gonna try to get this thing going one more time. See if this happens. And okay, all right, Facebook, we're back. 
and with this being back, I'm trying not to rotate anything or do anything here. Cool. We, you know, one of those weeks, one of those days, one of those months, one of those years for you all. If so, tell me about it. Happy Friday, everyone. We are back. And I know what I have been saying is the whole thing about being live so we could stay, although physically distant, socially connected. Social solidarity is what is happening right now. And YouTube, I know the light is coming in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. But I'll move on occasion so you can see the blue sky. So Facebook and Instagram, when you see me move out the way, I'm really just doing it for all of our YouTube friends here. So you know what we have to do. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Boo's friend. So here's what we have to do. I have to back up for this one. Like literally, I'm taking my chair because I was sitting. I want to stand for a minute because I want everybody, I want to say, hey, Boo's friend. So you either say it out loud or you type it in the chat because we are here to boost each other and it's Q&A day. That's what happens every week. Questions and answers. Any questions you have for me that you think may be helpful for me to answer, I'll do that. Whatever information I can share, I will share. So here we go on one, two, three. Hey, Boo's friend. You got to chat it because I can't hear you all. So make sure you say, hey, Boo's friend. Kiana, what's going on? Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. So everybody, hey, Boo's friend. I heard Anthony. He said, hey, Boo's friend. And he was like, woo, hey, Tina, what's going on? I'm waving at you, too. Hey, Boo's friend. So what's happening? I'm seeing everybody wave. Say hello to your Boo's friends in the chat. And that's why we got to make sure we are staying connected. So now I'm going to sit back down because I'm doing this lean to thing and, you know, you're getting a view you don't need to have. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, you're real. Ah, Nina. Oh my gosh, Tyra. Hey, Boo's friend. Okay. So, you know, I'd like do this. You know why I'm doing this? Because actually it's windy. So if I do this, then I'm able to make my hat stay back on my head. Actually, no, that's not why. It's because I'm so happy to be here with all of you all. And as we have been doing now, for those who have been with me for the past month or so, can you believe it's been a month? Actually, maybe four to six weeks now. At Supercharge, we were doing questions and answers with Kwanzaa. And the reason this entire thing, hang on now. Hey, Kevin. Um, so the reason we were doing all of this is not only when you work together as a team, sometimes you're always just so focused on the work that you at times forget about life and life is always here. So this was before COVID-19, all sorts of things. I was making it a point to, and intentionally having a moment once a week where anyone on the team could ask me any questions about anything that they thought may be helpful for them. Maybe they wanted questions about, had questions about finance or real estate or relationships or making moves or any of those things. And it was just a super informal way for people to, hey, uh, hey, Danielle, um, for people to be able to just ask questions that they may not always be able to ask. And, you know, I was being a boost friend. So, Essentially, what happened is decided to extend this into Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube to do it too, because there are a lot of a lot of people I know who have lots of different questions. And I always say, if I can be helpful, if there's any information I have, is there any knowledge I'm able to share? I share. So that's how all of this got started. Hey, um, Damien, Kevin, how are you all? So that's how it got started. So as usual, what happens? Hey, Victoria and Britt and Drew. Oh my gosh. So what happens now is now you all just have to, in the chat, make sure you ask any of the different questions. And this, once again, it started for the Supercharge team, but we have opened it up for any of you anyway, anyhow. And quite frankly, even if you don't have questions, it's a great time for us just to know we are here and we are connected. Hey, Sagiv, um, and Venus. Uh, no, we're here, we're connected and we're just doing it. So what you will notice is there is Supercharge on the Supercharge by Kwanzaa Jones page or on the Supercharge support page. They'll be moderating the question so they can make sure I'm actually not missing any. And if I do not get to your question, if I don't get to your question, if I don't, I'll say it for the third time. If I don't get to your question, it's okay because, hey, Damien, um, because I'll do it next week. So once a week, 
doing this Q and A thing, and that means you get moved. Your question gets moved to the top of the queue, and the top of the list and the line in terms of questions being answered. So let me move on here and get into what some of those things are. Except what you're going to see is like this, 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 because I'm on a few different platforms right now. And here we go. Let me pop this out. And you hear a lot of me talking to myself, or so it seems, seemingly talking to myself. But I actually do that all the time. You know why? Because the voice that I want to have in my head is always my voice saying things positively to me, speaking words of positivity to me always. Hey, Janina, Jackie, everybody. So um, here we go. And I just saw this other one. And I, Kevin, I saw your question. I'm going to get to it in just a minute. Here we go. All right. You see, I am really looking very intently at this list so I can, I can get these things going. For those who I have not seen and who I sometimes see all the time, it's good to see you this way, even though I'm not, you know, we're not together in the same room. It's still good to be together. So I appreciate that. Uh, okay. And I think you may be hearing some wind. So let me know. Uh, let me know if it's very windy. Put it in the chat because I it gets warm in here. So I opened up the window so it can be a little bit, you know, breezy. But if you hear wind and it makes it hard for you to hear me, hey Lincoln, uh, let me know and then I'll I'll try to readjust and shift it and move somewhere else. That's how it goes. All right. So one of the questions that hey Hugo, one of the questions that someone asked me is where. Do I think the next post COVID-19 or what do I think is next post COVID-19 for the workforce? Wow. Well, as we all know, and, and those who have been watching just the news and well, following the news, we can seem really pretty dire at times. Um, as of last week, and I just read this yesterday, as of last week, there were 6.6 .6 million people that filed for unemployment. Like, hey, Corey, Chino, and Larry. Um, and wow, like staggering, 6.6 .6 million people. So when we think, what do I think is next for the workforce post COVID-19? Do you know what's interesting? I actually have a webinar on Saturday. So for them, some of you all who are live, I think I'm doing it at 1 or 1.30 on Saturday. I'll leave information. You know what? Text me, ask, and A-S-K, and text me. I'm going to hold it up to make it very easy for you. But it's going to be backwards on some pages. So I need both sides of them, which is 833-672-0275. And what, if you text ASK, A-S-K, 833-672-0275, then what you'll be able to do is say, ask me, when is that webinar? Because I want to join it. So here this is. For those who can see it, screenshot it, and then you can text me later. I know YouTube, it may be backwards. So don't worry. I've got this one for you. <laughs> and now Instagram and Facebook, this may be backwards, but we'll see. Hold this screenshot at ask 833-672-0275 and ask me about the webinar. In particular, the reason I even bring that up is that that's what I'm going to be going over in the webinar. Post COVID-19, I, I think we're in for a very, very, very rough time. Hey, Mike. Um, hey, Lisa, Jerome and Will. As we all know, it's a very difficult time that's coming up. And I'm on the board of a lot of different companies and organizations and schools and all sorts of things. And this is something that is impacting everything across the board. And what ends up happening, even as a CEO and also talking to various other CEOs and managers, supervisors, executives, it's tough. It's very tough. But what I think ends up happening is instead of all of us just looking at this solely at how tough it is, let's figure out what are the next opportunities that are going to be there. And that's what that webinar is for is how can you use this time now? Because it's a major obstacle that the world we are having right now. But what comes next? Because the fact is something always comes next. 
and what always comes next ultimately could be something better. But it requires a lot of patience, obviously, but it also requires a mindset to make sure you know that you can use this time to prepare, 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 prepare for what your next thing may be. So that is a quick answer for you, what I think is going to be happening. But I do think the recovery is going to be, I think it's going to take a while. Um, but there's still opportunities. They're always, go they're always going to be. So let me get to the next one. But right before, hey, Herman, um, right before I get to that next question, somebody let me know if it's too windy. If, if you hear me fine, tell me in the chat that you hear me just fine. If you don't hear me because of all the wind, let me know that too, and then I'm gonna close the door. So I'm gonna wait for five seconds before I answer the next question, and then we'll go from there. So anyone, can you hear me fine? Can you not hear me fine? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know, we'll figure all of this out. Um, yeah, okay, I don't hear anything, so I'm gonna take that as, <laughs> oh, Norville, oh my goodness. <laughs> Somebody, thank you all. Now I have people saying, Wendy is fine. You know, we hear you. Okay. So for those of you who say, you know, you hear me, I have some friends and they used to call me mouth and they still may even call me mouth, but that's okay. And I wonder why, maybe it was because of the laughter and just how loud it is. But I just, you know, I'll say what daddy would say. I don't yell, I speak loudly. Hey, Jeremy and Sasha, oh my gosh. Yeah, so I don't yell, I speak loudly, which means it's good that you can hear, it's good that you can hear me. Um, and I'm glad the wind is, someone said, oh, we like the sound effects. So does liking the sound effects mean you like the wind? <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I think it might be that it's okay. And I'm apologizing in advance again for everybody on YouTube because my light is going in and out. It is just getting a little bit crazy. Sasha, I am so glad to see you from Canada. You know, we have not spoken in so long. I'm glad you're safe and sending you a hug and love and all of these things. <laughs> all right, Anita Mouth. I love it. Oh, okay. All right. You know what somebody said? If you ain't loud, you ain't KJ. Well, you know, because Quanta Jones is going to just make sure you hear me. <laughs> so let me get to one of the next questions. Um, and good morning, everybody on the West Coast or wherever you may be. And on the East Coast, it's the afternoon. But everybody, it's Friday for the most part, wherever you may be tuning in for the world. It is Friday. And honestly, it's been a week. So I'm happy it's Friday. And it may be more of the same on the weekend because all of us are doing a lot of more of the same. <laughs> and that's what we'll do. So I had a question where someone was asking me, um, where was it? It was something about, actually it was a music question and I'm trying to find that. I think Kevin had asked a question that if I'm still doing music, how can one submit music to, to me for me to get on? Oh, well, Kevin, okay. Let me get my whole thing. So in case you didn't see it, text the word ask. So you do it. And Kevin, I, I'm not sure if you're on Facebook or if you're on Instagram. So I'm going to show both. Everybody screenshot this. Screenshot it. 833-672-0275. That goes to me. It goes to my phone, my text. I was going to say screenshot it. I'll hold it one more time. And this is the backwards one or the opposite one. It depends on what you're looking at, how it appears. 833-672-0275. Ask. Kevin, text me that there, and then I will send you the information so you can connect with all of my team members on the music and audio group, because we have not been stopping. Music is still going. What has been happening for those who have not heard of uh, some of the new music, because I think the last release we put out was last year, earlier last year, and it was called Problem. Um, there's been a lot of music that we've been creating, a lot we have been doing, but we've also, quite frankly, there's been an app. Yeah, I know, it's a pretty exciting app. The app is called Boost Friend. It's the Boost Friend app. Why is it? Because it's always about boosting each other to be better, and if we can boost each other to be better, we can boost the world to be better, and we can do it together. So that's where a lot of music in the short term has been just supporting the app, which is in beta now, so you all, 
text me ass so you can test it out because I really want your input on this too. And But as far as traditional music releases, those are coming very soon, especially playlist type things. There's one called Queen Moves Only that's actually coming up really soon. So everybody stay in touch and connected. There's some good things coming. Um, Okay, so Luana, hello, and Ali. Oh my gosh, Ali, it's been, I don't know how long. So somebody asked me a question. Do we have a problem? Yes. Because <laughs> problem was the name, of, problem was the name of the song. And the song that was released last year. And I asked, do we got a problem? Mm -hmm. Do we got a problem? Yeah, because think about it. We have a lot of problems and some problems we don't want to have and some problems are foreseeable problems so it's all about we don't want no problem so what can we do to make sure that we don't have them you know it's mindset and it's taking action which is honestly what supercharge is all about hey joe <laughs> okay jonah i know 15 can you believe it you were 15. okay Hey, Donovan. All right, so let me go to one of the next questions. And thank you, Renato, telling me that the sound is stunning. Or I shall say, the sound is supercharged. <laughs> okay, so let me go to... <laughs> let me go to some of the next ones. Um, wow, do you know what? It's just happy to... I'm happy just to take a moment to be able to laugh and just have a moment of being able to laugh and smile and be here. Ibn, how are you? With um, with all of us together because, ooh, it's just, it's heavy weighty times now and it feels like there is so much. And I know Bill Withers has passed lean on me. So here's the thing, for those of you who are friends from Princeton, we sang Lean On Me. I was part of a singing group at Princeton and it was called Culturally Yours. I was actually part of an EDM group too. So I've done all sorts of genres of music. And one of the songs that we did, the acapella songs we would do and we would perform in the arch sings because at Princeton you have all of these arches, but not only at Princeton, so many schools, like everything's closed down now um, or temporarily closed at online classes now. And Lean On Me is one of the songs that we sang. So Bill Withers, you know, amazing artist, musician, all of those sorts of things. And just the passing of Bill Withers, it's like the, the music. And quite frankly, even right now, let's think about it. What we need is to boost each other to be better, become boost friends, lean on each other, especially now. Because no one, hey Tim, no one, no one, no one in montage, um, no one succeeds alone. And that's what we have to remember. And I always say, no one succeeds alone. Sometimes you need a boost. And hey, what better song than Lean On Me to, hey, give you a boost right now. So, hey, boost friend, and hey, Tracy. All righty, so, <laughs> Jamie, I love it. So yes, indeed, rest in peace and rest in power and let rest in love, Bill Withers. Um, so someone has asked a question and I will answer these questions because I know it's been a minute. Uh, once again, I have no problem answering any other questions and it's fine if they're directed towards me, but I'm also open to answering any questions you all may have and how I can be helpful for you too. So here's what we go. Once the quarantine is over, what is the first thing you're gonna do that I have stopped doing due to COVID-19? I'm actually gonna ask all of you all that. Put it in the chat. Let me see, what are some of the first things you are gonna do that you stopped doing? Um, hey James, because of COVID-19. And here is the thing, I'm trying to think what sig is significantly different for me. And the fact is that most things for me have not significantly changed. And what I mean by that is um, I've always worked. <laughs> I'm still working. It has not, <laughs> it has not stopped. So what are you all doing? Hey, Irva, what are you all going to do? I hear some people saying they're getting a massage. You know, you can even like do this, like, give yourself a little massage, not quite the same thing, but you know, you can, you can do that or, or rub up against the chair and like try to get a massage action <laughs> happening. Um, uh, hey, Brad. So what I am going to do, oh my gosh, let me think. I, it's a great question. I, honestly, 
dancing, dancing, dancing with friends. Sasha, I hear you, but you know what? We have dance breaks and this is something our company has been doing at Supercharged. We would do Karen! Mwah! And Brad, oh my goodness. So what we do is we have these dance breaks. In fact, we have one at one o'clock. And if you text me, ask, you can join it. And I'll give you the Zoom link. And we always do dance breaks a number of different times where it's like anywhere from one minute to five minutes where it's like, just stop what you're doing. Just get a dance break in because it clears your mind. And this is even before, hey, Philip. Um, this is even before COVID-19 that this has been done because the whole point is changing your perspective and moving at times just really helps adjust your mindset. So yes, I'll be dancing, but I already have been doing it. But I hear the gym for some people and Disneyland for other people. <laughs> um, I've never been a really, really huge, hey Jessica, I've never been a huge, huge Disneyland goer, but, but the gym, the, you know, whether there's a gym or not, I'm going to find a way to stay healthy and move. And that's it. At the end of the day, it's about what do you do to make things part of your life, like part of your lifestyle. So that is it. Jackie, oh my gosh, you are right, Jackie from Memphis. OMG. Okay. So you all are going to see, it may seem a little scattered because I'm like, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. And I am connecting with so many people who I have not connected with in such a long time. And before, for the past like four to six weeks, uh, a couple months now, some, all of this started at the office. This is what the questions and answers was, was happening. And then expanded it to Instagram and then moved to Facebook um, and YouTube. Yeah, but I actually did YouTube before doing Facebook. So what happens on this one is now on Facebook, it's like, wow. So many people I hadn't seen in a while. So I'm going to do this again because I know the cameras are doing different things. And you're going to see me repeat it. And I think somebody on the team at Supercharge is going to chat and put this in here too. Thanks, Montage. You stay safe too. Hey, Philip. I'm going to hold this up so you all can screenshot it because I know you're probably on your computers or on your phones or somewhere. Text me, ask, ASK, 833-672-0275. I'm going to hold it so you can screenshot it. And I'm gonna hold another one because it's backwards depending on which which camera that you're on, meaning which platform are you on Instagram or are you on the others? So I'm gonna hold there and I'm gonna back up and hold this. So if you have a question and I don't get to your question this week, send it, send it to me. I'll get to it next week because weekly I do these Q and A's and that's a way whether it's a question you have or whether it's just anything in general, text me, it'll go to me, go to my phone, it's my text message, and I will be able to answer it for you. So once again, everybody, as we know, rest in peace, Bill Withers, absolutely lean on me. Everybody, let's lean on each other. Um, so somebody said they love that piece behind me. Thanks, Brad. Uh, oh, you're going to a winery and a jazz show. I'm hearing from everyone what they're going to be doing post-COVID, and I still never said what I'm doing because I've been doing a lot <laughs> during COVID-19. So I'm, oh, you know what I may do? As I'll tell you as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna be immediately, hey, Willie, and Brad, in a minute, I'll tell you about that piece. But essentially, post-COVID, I am going to go to Antarctica. Yes, isn't that exciting? Like I was about to get on that whole seventh continent crew thing because I've traveled to every single continent. Um, Gerardo, uh, and literally, it's his now, and I can count this. It's been three weeks since three, three and a half weeks now. I was supposed to be in Antarctica. This trip planned it a while ago, a long time ago, because you just don't wake up in the morning and say, okay, I'm going to Antarctica. Peace. <laughs> you don't, I know, I know. So <laughs> yes, for vacation. So for some of you who are like, why would you go to Antarctica for a vacation? My idea of vacation is putting my feet up and going to the beach and doing something. Well, I, I live on the beach, at the beach, however you, you want to call it. So sand for me is not sand and sun and ocean. It, it And weather, even before I lived on the beach, that was never, oh, one moment. 
you see that helicopter? Maybe you don't see it, but maybe you hear it. Don't they know we are here having a conversation? We're boost friends boosting each other. And, and that helicopter is just like going on by and making all of this noise. Hey, Neil. <laughs> so essentially, I was going to Antarctica because it's like I climbed Kilimanjaro. Tim, you know, we worked on some music afterwards. And what ends up happening is I always like vacations that are challenging, that are adventurous, that are not just sit back and just relax. Because for me, doing something that's challenging is relaxing. Because I'm constantly, 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 constantly thinking about how can I always push myself? How can I always push myself to whatever that next level is? Because that's the whole thing about life, which is so fantastic. It's that you never stop learning, you never stop growing. Hey, Erica. Um, and what ends up happening is I, I wrote this thing called the supercharged statement. And it's sort of like a mantra or a manifesto that I live by. And one of the lines, well, it starts with, you are supercharged. Don't doubt it, just believe it. You have what it takes, so turn it up. Even if things seem tough, carry on. Tell yourself it's time to go, then get up, get out, and go. <laughs> Um, and then there are a lot of other lines after that. It's 10 lines and, and text me ask or after all of this. And for those who are on the air, supercharged support, they have gone in and they put it in. Text me ask, because that'll come to me. That's my phone. Ask 833-672-0275. And I'll send you the supercharged statement too, because it's really been a part of how I've lived my life. So the reason Antarctica is on my post COVID-19 list is number one, the trip has been paid for. Ooh, but at first they didn't want to give a refund. Now, I get if you don't want to give a refund, but if it was foreseeable that there were going to be some potential issues, now are times we've got to be flexible. And I always say this with my team and the company Supercharged, we have to be fast and flexible. We have to respond to people as people and to the time. So essentially, with Antarctica, the trip has been paid for, the cruise left, and then when it tried to get back into dock, none of the countries were letting it dock because COVID-19 exploded in the midst of that time. I decided not to go on that cruise because everybody, we know what was happening. We were hearing cruises where people were getting like stopped and not being able to go get back into places and being in quarantined and doing all sorts of things. So because of that, I was like, uh, I don't know that it's the right time to do it. And I was thinking, mm. so that's my post COVID-19 thing. I'll talk to you more about it later, but yes. But I think I, I, it may not be the immediate trip, but it is gonna happen at least within the next year or two years. I had waited so long to do it, so long to do it. Okay, all righty, Neil, yes. Okay, so some people have said on the East Coast that they're coming to California after all of this is over so they can go run the trails of Runyon Canyon. Well, let me tell you now, if you wanted to come to the West Coast now from anywhere where you are, or if you all are already here in California, you all know no trails are open, the beach is closed, there's a sign on that beach that says, and I, you can't see it, the lifeguard station is like behind me there. Attention, the beach is closed to the public. So the parks are closed, the trails are closed, the stairs are closed. Okay, like if you do some of the Santa Monica stairs sorts of things, those are closed. So everybody, you know what we can do? In our minds, we can take a moment and just imagine that we are doing the thing that we wanna be doing afterwards. And then the other thing I would say is, if you're already in your mind doing those things, don't stop. Don't stop because we know we're going to be able to do it IRL very soon. So that's how it is. All right. So let's go to another question. I know I've been going to IG for questions and Facebook for questions and YouTube for questions, as well as Yadira, um, as well as Alquaku, um, as well as part of my question list from last week and from early earlier this week because people have been texting me questions and I've been like, okay, hold on. I'll answer your question at the end of this week when I do my question and answer. So um, so let me go to one of the other ones because I keep trying to go from platform to platform to platform to, to be able to go in and answer all the different questions. One moment, let me get to this. I hear Jim in the beach. Well, you know what, for those, I'm trying to get to the questions, but I keep loving everyone's answers and telling me what they're going to do afterwards. That's why I decided to do this question and answer here 
from the living room so you could see the beach. If I move out the way, I'm going to move out the way a minute because then it won't focus the light on where I am. It'll focus it on the backdrop. So then for just a moment, you all can get a little bit of the beach. For those who wanted to be on the beach and be on the sand and do all of that, I'm going to do it for like 30 seconds. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it for three seconds. Hey, John. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to hop back in so we can keep answering all these questions. All right. BRB. And I'm going to narrate. What you see out window and door number one or two is the sand. And in a minute, you're about to see a dog and some people walking on the beach, although I think the sign says the beach is closed to the public. So what are they doing? Uh, okay. Okay. People know this is a pet peeve of mine. Now, hopefully you saw the beach and you saw and you heard my commentary about the beach. You have not yet seen the the two people that are walking on the beach with a dog, number one. Hey, Melissa. Um, oh, thank you, John. Number one, the sign says, hey, Omar, that the beach is closed to the public. Do you all know what public means? That means you. That means me. That definitely means those people who are standing out there walking their dog on the beach and beyond walking the dog on the beach. No dogs are allowed on the beach anyway. So why, why, why? Because here's the thing, and I always say this is, <laughs> and a colleague of mine said it, and so some of you all have heard this, so I've now started saying this a lot because I get very perturbed. It's not a pet problem. It's a people problem. Okay, people, so if it's a people problem, can you get your people problem and deal with it and get your dogs and pets off the beach. Because here's what's happening. I have seen it before COVID-19, what people were doing. Hey, Tracy, I am in Southern California, Marina Del Rey. Um, before COVID-19, I'd see it. Some people are just nasty. Okay, let's just be honest. Nasty, 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 nasty. And if you know some nasty people, hey, Caesar, make sure you tell them to stop being nasty. <laughs> what I mean by that is like, if you have a dog or a pet, and I'll give you a little backstory, and then I'll in a minute, but I'm just saying, if you have the responsibility of being a pet owner, I know they are just breaking all the rules. And I say, are you a rule breaker, rule maker? If you have the responsibility of being a pet owner, please understand there are still people and, and pets do all sorts of things. They do some of the same things that humans do. They shit, yes. That's what they do, except in this instance, hey, Jerry, in this instance, the pet is not going to wipe its ass. The people and the owners have to. So literally, why would you have your dog on the beach? And I have seen this pre-COVID-19. I've seen this happening. And I'm like, people, you are just nasty. Like if people are on the beach and they're laying out and they're hanging out and they're enjoying themselves or they're running or they're playing volleyball or doing all the different stuff they're doing. Um, and, and kids, who imagine their kids, they're laying out on the beach or maybe they're crawling on the beach or all this stuff. And then they happen upon dog shit or feces or yes, it's not French, it's English. It is English. And I am so perturbed by that because I'm just like, people, you're not thinking. Can you think about people beyond you for just a minute? Okay, I'm done. My rant is over. Right. No manners, nastiness. So pick up after your pet poop whenever you do it. It's yes, 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 yes. All right. I'm, I'm so much better now. But in all honesty, the thing is, if the beaches are closed, if the parks are closed, if all of these things are, are closing and we know that, hey, Ronnie, one of the biggest things that we can do, especially those of us who we're not healthcare professionals, we're not on the front lines, we're not there actually helping in the way that some people day in, day out are at risk every single day for all of us. The least we can do, hey, Marguerite, the least we can do is sit our behinds down and do some work. Don't just like relax, because please, there's no time to relax. There's always something that can be done. In this instance, you can take a moment to relax. Don't just like nonstop chill. That doesn't work. So the least we can do is really be respectful of some of these things and measures that are being put in place to help ultimately all of us. Like, really? Okay, so my rant is over, and that's it. And now I'll tell you the other thing, because uh, the whole thing about the the pets and why pets. I don't have a pet. I don't have time to have a pet. But 
I used to have a paper route. Like my parents made it so that all of us had to deliver papers, all my siblings and I, that was it. Right? You were gonna learn the value of work, hard work and having to go do something and learn how to talk about sales and learn how to go interact with people and communication and all this and ooh. Okay, so on this paper route, there was someone who had a house and they had four German shepherds, four big ones, four of them. So imagine when you're going and you're trying to deliver the paper and then you're trying to collect money because this was not like, this was back in the day when you had to go, if there was a pet, a pet, if there was a paper and you got a paper, what you would do is you have to pay for your paper and you weren't Venmo and payments. You weren't doing <laughs> pay online. You weren't doing any of this. Hey, Kevin, you guess, Brad, you see them now? Exactly. Um, so I had to go and like try to collect the money from people. And here's what happened. If people were not paying, guess what happened? If they didn't pay for their paper subscription, I didn't get paid. And in fact, then I ended up having to pay. So all that goes to say, I have all sorts of, uh, of memories that I'm associating with paper chasing, <laughs> paper making and pet problems. That's it. Okay, there it is. Now we go back to some of our questions. And um, here we go. We have a question about, somebody asked me, what's my favorite place I've been to thus far? And I think that one came from YouTube and I have not answered some things. Hey, Jay, uh, favorite place I've been thus far? All right, so I've been to a lot of places and really feel very fortunate and blessed to have been able to go to a lot of places. And I've been to places when I didn't have a lot of money. I've been to places where I've had a lot of money. So I always, the reason I even say that is so many people limit what it is they can do because they say, oh, I'm not able to do this because I can't afford to do this. And the fact is, it's in your mind. It always is. Yeah, you got it. Sometimes you just have to work a little harder. Or sometimes you have to save a little longer. There are ways you can always make things happen. Um, one of my favorite places, I don't want to say, um, gosh, it depends. So Kilimanjaro was a favorite because it was super challenging. And I did one of the most difficult routes to, to climb to the top. And it's actually a route that has now been been closed because some people died while they were doing it. Um, and hey, John, yes, you never met a paper route person. Yes, yes, thank you. Not a paper delivery boy or man person. That's politically correct. Yes, that is. Okay, so back to <laughs> this. Um, Kilimanjaro was a favorite, Tanzania, and Halong Bay. So in Vietnam, kayaking in Halong Bay, amazing. I'll, I'll have to share some pictures with you all at some point. You know what I actually may do? Hey, Nick, hey, Jamal. What I actually might do is then just do a virtual, we can do a boost friend tour around the world to some of the places that I've been. I'll put some of those pictures up and maybe we just you know, but since none of us are going anywhere right now, maybe that's a way we can all have a quick vacation and travel in our minds. That may be what it is. So what are some of the places that you all, some of the favorite places you've been to? Let me know. And now let me get to some of the other questions. And here we go. I know, Brad, I was going to tell you about this piece in the back. I actually have a few of them and I'll, there are two or three of, of them. And I'm gonna stand there so at least you can see the height difference. I'll be right back. Here we go. And I'm gonna pull up my pants because they're falling. I don't know if you see or don't see, but there it is. I, almost, almost my height, almost my height. You saw that, almost my height. Because those who really have seen me IRL, I have grown, I'm taller than I used to be, taller like eight feet tall in my mind. <laughs> That's how all of that is. Travel vlog, okay, please, yes. Someone is saying travel vlog, I will absolutely do something because hey, Boost friends, we're here to boost each other to be better together, even when we have to be physically distanced. Oh, Nevis is amazing. And Ronnie, you had a paper route too? Okay, how many of you have ever had a paper route? And then I'm going to follow up with this other question because you thought it was questions and answers with Quanta, but you all doing the questioning and me doing the answering. I'm flipping the script. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do some. Oh, John, 15 feet tall in your mind. Thank you. <laughs> 
How many of you ever had a paper route? If so, let's see a chat, put the hands up, put the hand emoji up, or just write that you had it. And now this next question is, how many of you all read papers? And even if the papers are online, media, digital things. Yeah, I know, Brad, it's really tall. Um, because a lot of people don't anymore. So if you're not reading papers in the traditional sense, things that are now online media that used to be physical papers, you had a paper route too. Um, that is so awesome. If you're not reading papers, where are you all getting your news from? Hey, Nathaniel, that's what I'm curious. Where do you all go for your news? What's your trusted source, I will ask, for going? Hey, Lorenzo, what's your trusted source to get news? I'm really, really curious. And I say trusted because as we all know, right now there are so many moments where we have to be a little skeptical about what is what. Like I, I like to go to the source and it, sometimes it's not practical to fully do this always. And I'll put it this way. Like for example, I like C-SPAN <laughs> because I want to hear directly from the source on C-SPAN. I get to see things that are happening and be in the room at times. And then the other thing I will do is I'll go and I, I'll see some smart news. I see some CNNs on here. I see all sorts of things. Um, <laughs> No, John, 15, 15, 15 feet. Uh, um, so I think the big thing is even now, if we all go to trusted sources, are they friends? Are they family? Like how and where do we get it? And most importantly, too, how do we decipher what is real and what isn't real? And, you know, even I'm not even talking about the fake news stuff. Like let's not even go there right now. We'll do some Q&A about that another time. But even for now, like, where are you going for the source of news for things that are affecting us on a minute by minute, day by day basis now? Because it's a lot going on. So I'm really curious because what I'd love to be able to do is like take some of this information, do a little bit of research because you all know I love research. Um, compile something that can be helpful for everybody so we can say, all right, here are some things that may be helpful. And then not just for now, but even for afterwards and going forward afterwards. So, okay. So that is my question to, uh, 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 shoot. I'm like, all this wind, I've got care all in my mouth. Okay. So let me go to some more questions. Here we go. And I have a question. This one came from earlier last week. I think it was. Yes, Miss Conversation Piece. I did not forget you. I saw your question and I got your text. And this is your webinars and Q and A's and everything. Where do you start so you can share the information you have? Because we all have information we have and all can share. So you have what you need right now because if you're texting me and if you're watching me, you're using something. You're either using a computer or you're using a smartphone, iPhone, Android, something, which means that's your place to start. Figure out which platform you wanna go talk to people on and Go press live and start talking. That, that's the easy, I know, oversimplified, oversimplified method for it. What I can do is, once again, text me, ask, and let me get, you all know, because I'm going to do it again. And you have my text number, so send me a message and then ask me for the guide for it. Because then I'll put together just a quick tip guide, and then we can do a webinar, and I can go over all of these things to let you know, hey, here's how you can do it, and here's what's helpful. But ask 833-672-0275. That'll come directly to me. You can text me and I'd show you my phone that I get my messages on, except I'm using my phone. So I can't, you know, right. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this other one because it's backwards. So if you decide that you are going to do live on multiple platforms, YouTube is a little bit backwards. No, YouTube shows it left to right the way you would read. Instagram flips it so it ends up being backwards. So that's why I'm showing you a different one. Text ask 833-672-0275 and text me and then, then just literally ask me for the guide or tutorial. I know, John, the sign is backwards. It's backwards for you, but it's not backwards for YouTube. I had two signs because I said, let me just, people can't text me their questions when live is over. Uh, or pardon me, rephrase, rewind. People cannot text me their question while you're on the live because we're on the live and we're chatting and we're boosting each other to be better. So instead, 
what I said is let me just hold a sign and then you can screenshot it and then you'll have my number and you know where and how you can reach me and how you can text me. So that's what I did. And I did this one a few weeks ago and then I realized that it was backwards for one of the platforms I was on, not for the other. So that's how it is. Some of you are gonna see the sign backwards and some of you are gonna see it the right way. That's why I have two signs, <laughs> one written backwards, one written forwards. And hey, Carlin, and I, I know Brad, I know, I know. I, I just, look, if I am anything, for those who know me, I am thorough. Mm. <laughs> okay, I had to. I am thorough. And I'm just, I've always been thorough. Always been about it. Always, 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 always. Which is why it's just like, but I say, think of me as like your powerhouse pal who is pushing you to be better, who is boosting you to be better, because that's how it is. Think that's like even one of the reasons we, why we have the whole boost friend thing is think of your smartest friend, or right, or your best friend and your smartest mentor rolled in one. That's a boost friend. And guess what, friends? We can all be boost friends for each other because none of us know everything. And you know how there's some people that actually think they know everything. Have you all ever been around some know-it-alls? Oh, uh -huh. uh, can I get a chat? Have you ever been around some know-it-alls? Or, or maybe you are a reformed know-it-all. I'm just saying. You may want to just take a moment, tell your niece, <laughs> you may want to take a moment and just understand no one ever knows anything. <laughs> I'd rather no one ever knows everything, which is why it's so amazing that we're all here together because being here together, we're able to boost each other. So there may be one area you've got your expertise in, another area somebody else has their expertise in. And if we bring that together, like as boost friends, we're gonna be better together. And that's, hey, Andre. So what ends up happening is that same number that I had sent you the text, let me actually tell you about this in this community that I have. And it's called the Boost Friends Community. So the same number that I've been holding up for you all to send me my phone number to text, to send me any questions that you have asking, this is for you to just get an invite into the Boost Friend community. So the invite into the Boost Friend community is BF Invite. So on that particular one, what you're going to see is, and let me hold it up for you, because I've been, te I've, it's the same number. Text me at the same number. You can all reach me at the same number. Instead of texting me, ask. So you can ask me questions or Q&A questions that you want me to answer at the next one that we do next week. Um, this one, BF Invite. And that's... Uh, B is in boost, F is in friend, invite, 833-672-0275. Screenshot it. Okay, I'm gonna hold up the opposite sign. So for those who are seeing it on the other platform, you're gonna be able to see that. And yes, it's gonna look backwards for some, but not for everybody. Um, that's BF, boost, friend, invite, BF, invite, 833-672-0275. Screenshot this. Okay. So screenshot it and then text me BF invite. And what I'll do is I'll send you an invite to this community that we're having. Ooh, I got to turn my chime and alarms are going on and off. Um, so what happens is on that particular one, then I call it like an exclusive. Ooh, hold on. All righty. My chimes are going on and off and off and on and all that other good stuff. So, oh, excuse me. So what happens is if you text me BF invite and you know, you can go back and replay the live and see that too. It's a community of boost friends. Cause my whole point is how can we all aggregate the information and the knowledge that we have and boost each other to be better because no one knows everything, but together collectively, all of us really can help boost each other. And especially now there's so much knowledge and information that we can share with each other that can help us get through some of these times. So the Boost Friend community, I call it an exclusive, but inclusive community. And exclusive because honestly, I just don't wanna be around people that don't wanna be about doing the things that they need to be doing. It, it, it's that, we've got to have it where you are being positive. Sounds like an airport. Oh, now, so now you're hearing the, the oh, no, oh, not in one moment. I'm like, I'm out. It sounds like an, air, an airport. An airport because of my chimes and my alarms, not because the wind blowing. <laughs> Chime is active. 
Chime is active. Chime is active. It's a, your flight, which none of us are going on right now, will be leaving not this week, not next week, not even the week after that. <laughs> So, um, so as I was saying, the boost friend community, so we can all try to boost each other during this time. BF inviting, you'll see it in the chat because some of the supercharged team, they're putting it in there and I was holding it too. So let me try to get to a couple more questions because I think I only have about five or seven minutes left because it's just an hour and here's what happens. And this conversation piece, you were wondering how to do this too. I'm gonna give you a heads up now too. Instagram, shoop, shoop, they will shut it down after an hour. YouTube and Facebook, I think it may last a little bit longer. So even if we go a little over, as I'm saying my goodbyes and wrapping up and saying, I'll see you next week, uh, that goes a little longer. But IG is like, no, you have had an hour. An hour. <laughs> okay, so let me see these next questions because I hit some Instagram questions. I hit some Facebook questions. Let me go to... Um, here we go. I'm going to go to a one here. Oh, I just had it in this question. Okay. I'm recently, this question is coming from Instagram and it's, I'm recently obsessed with the stock market. Who I think a lot of us are. Hey, hey Michael. Um, I'm recently obsessed with the stock market. What do you predict for the stock market post COVID-19? I, okay, I'm looking to the right because I was hearing noises and hearing voices and I'm like, it's not my voice I'm hearing. I told you all, I don't mind hearing my voice, but I'm hearing like this. Okay, it's a neighbor on a balcony a few houses down. Okay, threw me off. I'm back. Here we go. So uh, post COVID-19 stock market and all of these things, you know, I was talking a little bit about this in a question last uh, question and answers last week in terms of opportunities that you have. And I'm having a finance, uh, fearless finances workshop. Let me preface all of this to say, which is what I always say. I am not a certified financial planner. This is not advice. Make sure you talk to your professional. I can tell you the things that have worked for me. Um, and based on my experiences, but whatever happens to me may not work for you. Whatever you do may not work for me. Disclaimers, you all got it all, all those disclaimers. So I, I think there are a couple things. Being obsessed with the stock market is good to follow the ups and downs and the highs and lows and the trends. It's like what is going to happen is it's going to do like it's always done. At some point, it's going to recover. And our economies all over the world will recover, but who knows when the time we must make sure we are always being patient. Hey, Ms. Wright. Um, hey, Ruthie. And what I mean by that is I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying, oh, okay, any ideas about what I could invest in, any sorts of things? Should I go in and now invest in the stock market now or should I not? I'm not quite sure. What should I do? And the answer that I'm giving, you should join the Fearless Finances Fearless Finances webinar that I'm doing. Once again, just text ask and ask me when's your webinar about some finance stuff or real estate stuff or investment stuff because you all know I do all of that. All of it. A lot. Lots of properties, lots of investments, lots of different things. But um, the biggest thing is if you have never been in the market and in the stock market, if you haven't ever bought stocks or shares, now is not the time for you to hop right in. Now's the time for you to do what you're doing where you're saying, hey, I've become recently obsessed with it. That's perfect. That's great for you to start learning about it. But if you really start thinking about, I always get these two terms confused, like compounding versus dollar cost averaging. And I know all the things that they mean, but when I'm talking real fast, I'm like, sometimes it does this. Compounding with mortgages and interest and things there. But dollar cost averaging is really what you wanna do. And that's really when you're saying, okay, I want to try now to invest in a few things. And how can I do this? Maybe I'll invest this week. Okay. Instead of putting everything that I want in here. Hey, Corintha. Um, instead of putting all my funds in just this week and then just saying, okay, now I'm just going to wait and see. I want to wait and see. <laughs> instead, break it up. Put some in this week. Put some in next week. Put some in the week after that. And then the week after that, and then the week after that. And that's how you do dollar cost averaging. Because what's going to happen is, especially with the stock market, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. It's a wave. 
you got to be prepared to ride the wave and you also have to be prepared to lose it. So if you're not prepared to lose it and if you are not as sure about it, then the thing for you to do is don't look at individual stocks right now. There are so many other options. You can do ETFs, which are exchange traded funds. You can do mutual funds. You could like Fidelity, Vanguard, any of those things and say, all right, I want to go and I'm going to put some money into a mutual fund. But even if I'm doing that, you can still do the whole concept of dollar cost averaging with mutual funds, which basically means it's a fancy word for saying, don't put the money all in at once. Just if you want to go do some investing in some things, just do it over time a little bit, because that way the price is going to average out to what it is that you're paying. Because what's going to happen is some prices at times you're going to be buying and it's a little higher. Sometimes you're going to be buying and it's a little bit lower. You'll be like, yes, see, I just <laughs> invested in this. This was great. Um, but that's the whole concept. Once again, Fearless Finances, this webinar I'm having, and it's all sorts of things. You can go into finances, real estate, investments, all these things. So however I can help, hopefully that helped. Look. I want to answer so many more questions, but it is an hour and I've got to go because I just take a day. I just take a day. I just take a moment in your here and see. That's my reminder telling me that my next appointment is coming up. I have taken just a moment out of my day because I have been nonstop working. People, it has been even busier for me. And those who know me know it's always busy. It's been like triple the amount of time. So webinar is coming up tomorrow. Ask, text me, ask. I'm going to do this this last time screenshot it and maybe it's there hey so it's backwards for one not backwards for the other screenshot that you got it okay when you screenshot that one text me when the webinar is i've got one tomorrow which can give you some ideas about how to have opportunities in a post covid 19 world how you turn space into opportunity into action and there's going to be some tips because once again 6.6 .6 million people filed for unemployment as of last thursday that's it. As of last Thursday, people, we have got to be prepared for what comes next. So if you don't have ideas about how to be that, how to do that and some things that you can do and how you can take advantage of this time, join me. I know it's Saturday, but what? You're not going to the club and you're not going to a restaurant and you're not going to the gym. So you may as well spend some time with me tomorrow. That's for an hour. All right. So let me say any other announcements or things I need to let you know. Okay, any other announcements I need to uh, make? And this announcement I am having is I told you about my webinar. Hey, Boost Friend, who loves you? I do. Make sure we're boosting each other to be better together because that's the only way we're going to make it through all of this is what? Together. All right, everybody, I will see you. Text me, ask, and I'll let you know when I'll be on live next week and we'll go from there. Who loves you once again? Mwah. I do. So great to see you and chat with you and talk to all of you. And have a wonderful weekend. Maybe I'll see some of you all tomorrow at the webinar. If I'm not asking me about that, I will leave you with this. Anything that you would like me to do a webinar on, let me know. Let me know. And I'll do it because, hey, now more than ever, we need to be boosting each other to be better. All right. I know a whole lot of activity on this beach. And there shouldn't be. Bye. <laughs>